Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Okay, so we've had some rain coming in this morning, which is so sad because this weekend was just gorgeous. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday was wonderful, but if you're looking outside, maybe an hour, hour and a half ago, ominous clouds, dark. We had some pictures that were taken. We have in. some video of it to show and you. And we also have a time lapse video right here, right as we look at the courthouse. It's uh, kind of bright if you're taking a look towards the, the east, but then west where that cold front starting to push on in. That's where the dark clouds started to move on through and that brought in some rain showers here across the region. Uh, not quite here in Indiana for some of us quite yet as we look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. Look at the rain. It's staying mostly contained to Illinois from Charleston down to Alney. That is all tracking to the northeast as we head into our early afternoon. We'll go a little bit closer here. Casey, Charleston, Toledo along Interstate 70 southward. Light rain showers there. It looked a little bit worse than it actually was going to be. Not expecting any strong to severe thunderstorms, although we did have some wind gusts all the way up into the 30 mile per hour range. Paris, probably some light precipitation there. Even here in Terre Haute, we've had a nice sprinkle. Most of us, though, off to the southeast, staying dry, still awaiting for most of that to move on in. A little speckle here in Owen County, but if you're in Lagodi, off to Washington, even Vincennes, staying dry for your afternoon. It won't be the case though as we continue through the day today as that cold front does slowly march off to the east bringing in some more rain showers here across the region before it's out of here later on this afternoon into the evening hours. This is what we're tracking that rain threat this returns. It continues for our Monday after a very active week uh, last week. Comfortable temperatures though we won't cool off very much so even though there's a cold front moving through, our temperatures will stay on the warmer side and then more rain returns by Thursday and into Friday. But we'll have a quick break before that, which will be really nice. Current temperatures at 64 degrees in Terre Haute, staying cloudy at West Breeze, right around 10 miles per hour. We look at the temperatures here, still lower 70s off to the southeast, cooler air off to the northwest at just 60 degrees. So a 12 degree difference, uh, just uh, you know about 40, uh, 60 miles away, uh, not that bad there. Watch the front move on in. There it is. If you look to the northwest, it's a few clouds passing through, but here's that main stream of moisture, conveyor belt of that, tracking mostly to the north east and then slowly track into the east. So that is what we'll be awaiting as we head through the day to day temperatures in the upper 60s. Although uh, we'll be cooling off to about the lower 60s by 7 o'clock and starting to slowly dry up as we head through the afternoon. Futurecast shows us at 1 o'clock. It's bringing that main stream actually east of Terre Haute. I do believe it will be more contained to right over us before we start to dry up by our Monday evening. If you do have to get out for the remainder of today, grab the umbrella, the light rain jacket. You'll probably need it. Uh, not expecting a lot of heavy rainfall with this event, though. We go through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, heading out for your Tuesday morning commute. You're going to be good. Uh, we won't have to be battling with any more rain by the afternoon, a few clouds. And then it clears out really fast as high pressure moves on in behind this system, making way for a very nice Tuesday evening. And for our Wednesday, we'll probably have a nice Wednesday, too. WTHITV.com, head there for all your updates. Storm Team 10 weather app is also very good. Uh, today will be topping off right around 69 degrees and cooling off as we head through the day. We had some morning showers. We'll probably continue to see some for the afternoon and maybe a few thunder showers. Seven day forecast for our Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures in the upper 60s, but we get a break in the activity before it returns on Thursday and into Friday. About a 40% chance for some rain and thunder showers on Thursday. Temperatures returning, though, to the 70s by next week.